Car heists and getaway tales have long attracted people, both in fact and in popular culture. The excitement and daring of these crimes, as well as the furious chases and creative thinking of the criminals, make for thrilling narratives. Here are some infamous car heists and getaway stories that have made headlines over the years. In this video, we will talk about the behind the wheels of crime. But before we start, be sure to smash that subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell icon to get a notification when we update videos like this one. The Great Train Robbery, 1963 The Great Train Robbery, sometimes known as the Crime of the Century, occurred in England on August 8, 1963. The train, which was carrying money, jewellery and other valuables from Scotland to London, was the target of the theft. The mastermind behind the operation was Bruce Reynolds, who gathered a gang of 15 men to carry out the robbery. The gang altered the railroad signals close to the Bridego Bridge in Buckinghamshire on the night of the robbery, which caused the train to come to a stop. The train staff was then overpowered by the robbers, who tied them up after boarding the train. They used explosives to break into the high-value package coach, which contained the priceless cargo. The gang loaded 120 mailbags, totaling over 2.6 million pounds, more than 50 million pounds now, in cash, coins and other valuables into their waiting vehicles. Initial attempts at the theft went off without a hitch and the group was able to hide from the police in a number of safe houses. But after an incredible manhunt led by the authorities, the majority of the gang members were apprehended and imprisoned. The Lufthansa heist, 1978. Another well-known incident that occurred on December 11, 1978 at John F. Kennedy International Airport in New York is the Lufthansa heist. One of the biggest cash thefts in American history, the robbery targeted the freight building of the German airline Lufthansa. James Burke, a well-known figure in the criminal underworld of New York City and also known as Jimmy the Gent or the Big Irishman, was the mastermind behind the scheme. Burke enlisted the aid of a group of criminals, including Henry Hill, who eventually gained notoriety as a result of the book and film Goodfellas. The plan includes emptying the vault of the Lufthansa building of millions of dollars worth of cash and jewelry. The crew members broke into the cargo building late at night, while the airport was still mostly quiet. They were masked and carrying firearms. They took control of the present personnel and opened the vault. They opened the vault doors with stolen key sets and loaded huge bags with cash and jewelry. Around $5 million in cash and about $875,000 worth of jewelry were the entire proceeds. The team members fled when the heist was completed in a variety of cars, including a van and numerous sedans. To escape being seen and being questioned, they dispersed to various places. Their good fortune changed, though, when rumors spread within their ranks that some of the members were skimming from the stolen cash. Law police eventually made the connections and identified those responsible for the Lufthansa heist. James Burke was charged with participating in the crime but was never found guilty because there was insufficient proof linking him clearly to the robbery. He was later detained, however, on other allegations. The Gardner Museum Heist, 1990 On March 18, 1990, in Boston, Massachusetts, the Gardner Museum Heist also known as the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum theft, took place. With an estimated value of the stolen art reaching $500 million, it is regarded as one of the most infamous art heists in history. Two guys who entered the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum in the early morning hours dressed as police officers carried out the crime. The robbers overpowered the museum's security guards and stole many priceless, valuable things of art from the museum. The stolen pieces included works by famous artists such as Vermeer, Rembrandt, Manet and Degas. Vermeer's The Concert, which is regarded as one of the most priceless stolen paintings in the world, was among the most renowned stolen pieces of art. Thirteen works of art in total were taken during the theft. The theft was painstakingly planned, and certain artworks were the targets. They removed the paintings from their frames that had been stolen, as well as numerous other priceless antiques like a golden bird finial and a Chinese copper beaker. The entire procedure took about 81 minutes. Law enforcement agencies have conducted in-depth investigations and continue to work on the case, but the stolen artworks have never been found, and the case is still open. The Hatton Garden Heist, 2015 
Over the Easter weekend in April 2015, a burglary known as the Hatton Garden heist occurred in London, England. The Hatton Garden Safe Deposit Company, a safe in the renowned jewellery district of the city, was the target of this bold theft. A bunch of senior thieves who had previously engaged in various illegal operations and had experience with burglary committed the heist. The thieves entered the building using a white vehicle. The group entered the vault by a lift shaft using a variety of instruments, including industrial drills with diamond tips and a powerful Hilti DD350 drill. To get to the safe deposit boxes within the vault, they got past the security measures and reinforced steel doors. The gang carefully inspected the safe deposit boxes over a period of days, taking a significant amount of money, jewellery and other valuables. According to estimates, the exact value of the stolen products is somewhere about £14 million or roughly $20 million. However, they were not fully successful in making their getaway and several of the gang members were eventually captured. The Pink Panther Heists Interpol came up with the term Pink Panthers after the 1963 movie The Pink Panther, which featured a well-known diamond known as the Pink Panther. They are well renowned for employing fast cars during their escapes, frequently choosing expensive vehicles like Lamborghinis or swift motorcycles to avoid capture. A loosely connected crew of thieves known as the Pink Panthers are mostly from the Balkans and Eastern Europe and are renowned for their precise planning, daring and capacity to carry out quick and well-coordinated heists. They are infamous for focusing on premium jewellery retailers, frequently in upscale shopping areas throughout the world. They often use cars to ram through the storefronts of jewellery stores, quickly and violently overpowering security measures and workers. The gang members are well known for wearing disguises and employing a variety of escape routes, vehicle switches and strategic use of local terrain as a means of evading capture. Over the years, the Pink Panthers have carried out a number of high-value heists with great success, stealing diamonds, jewellery and other valuable jewels valued at millions of dollars. In spite of the Pink Panthers' image, many of their members have been found and imprisoned throughout time. The Brussels Airport Diamond Heist, 2013, the heist of the century, also known as the Brussels Airport Diamond Heist, occurred on February 18, 2013, at this airport in Zaventem, Belgium. With a $50 million estimated value, it was one of the biggest diamond heists in history. A highly skilled crew of thieves carefully planned and carried out the crime. Leonardo Notabartolo, an Italian criminal known for his capacity in entering high security vaults, was the mastermind behind the scheme. Notabartolo had previously pulled off a number of daring heists, such as the 2003 break-in at the Antwerp Diamond Center. On the evening of February 17th, a group of thieves broke into the airport while posing as police officers. They hacked a hole in the fence around the airport, allowing them access to the tarmac. They used stolen cars to get directly to a Swiss passenger jet that was due to take off later that evening. Out of the 160 deposit boxes, which contained diamonds and other precious valuables, 123 were loaded by the thieves when they pulled open the cargo hold. They escaped through the same hole in the fence they had entered with two black vehicles, one of which was a Mercedes-Benz Vito. For law enforcement, the investigation into the diamond heist at Brussels Airport proved to be difficult. Although there were video cameras at the airport, the thieves had turned most of them off or tampered with them, leaving virtually little trace of their presence. The heist was professionally carried out and there were no security movies to help identify the perpetrators. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. See you in the next video. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to receive new updates. Stay tuned.